Yo, what is going on guys? It's Def King here, back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about um, if statements, okay? No more functions, alright? <laughs> if statements, okay? So basically, if statements are um, when you do something like this, okay? You'll be like, if this is equal to this, then do this. Or if this is true, then do this. So um, it's pretty um, pretty simple and shouldn't be too hard to grasp. But if you do have trouble, like I said, always leave a comment. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and make our first if statement. So before we do that, let's go ahead and make a variable, though, because we're going to need a variable. So we'll do local um, x is equal to 3. All right, and we're not going to use that just yet, but we'll do this, okay? So here we go. Type in if, all right? You're going to do if 3 is equal to equal to 3, then, okay? Let's just type that in. So I'm going to explain all this right now. So basically... If is the keyword for an if statement, and then three um, is just a term or a number, and equal to equal to instead of just an equal, basically equal to and then equal to or like two equal signs mean it's checking if it's equal to, and so it's not like setting an equal to like one equal sign would, it's checking if it's equal to. So whenever you're using an if statement, you're gonna need to make sure you do two equal signs and not one. So uh, so if three is equal to equal to three, I'm I'm probably saying it wrong because I say equal to equal to because I, I read it like that because it's two equal signs. So um, it really is just equal to. I'm pretty sure, but I'm just gonna say equal to equal to because it's just easier for me. So yeah, equal to equal to three. Then print yes. Okay. <laughs> so if it's equal, if three is equal to equal to three, then print yes. And obviously, you guys, you guys know that three is equal to three because three is three. So it prints yes. All right, and um, yeah, that is a if statement. But obviously, you're not going to be using numbers that often because you know you already know the stuff, so you wouldn't want to use an if statement to figure out something you already know. So you would use a variable. So let's say you're making a variable, or you're finding the transparency of an object, and you wanted to see if it was equal to three. Now, obviously, transparency will never be three, but you know, for for example's sake, we'll just do three. So if x is equal to equal to three, then print yes. And now x is equal to 3, as you can see. So it prints yes, because I defined x up here. So yeah, that is an if statement. But um, there are a lot more things we need to know about this. So another cool thing with if statements is you can do ands. So let me show you what I mean now. So we'll make another variable. We'll call it y. So x is, or y is equal to 9, OK? So you can do this. You can do if x is equal to equal to 3 and y is equal to equal to 9, then, okay, um, print yes. So it checks if both values are true. So it's going to go ahead and do this. It's going to print yes because they're both true. Now, if I were to change this to 6, all right, then it wouldn't it wouldn't print because both of these aren't true. And um, same thing if it was just 1. If if I had x is equal to equal to 3, and or if I had x is equal to equal to 3, and x was actually equal to 2, then it wouldn't print yes because x is not equal to three. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't print here because x isn't equal to three. So yeah, um, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys another thing. So you can do ors. All right, so or y is equal to equal to six. All right, so kind of simple. You guys understand if x is equal to two, or if x is equal to equal to three, or y is equal to equal to six, then print yes. So basically, as you can see here, x is equal to 2, but y is equal to 6. So it's going to print yes because one of them is true because it's an or statement. And now you can always do this with um, like Booleans. So you can do this. You can do local um, anchored. Okay. Now this obviously isn't, you know, the anchored thing, but um, you can do local anchored is equal to f or true. All right. Now this isn't anywhere. But, um, and then you can do anchored, if anchored is equal to equal to true, then print yes, and we set anchored to true here, so it's going to print yes. And now, let me show you guys a cool thing we can do. So whenever you guys are scripting, sometimes you'll want to do like stuff like, um, like you're, you're using if statements a lot, but we, sometimes you want to check if something's equal to something so you can do something else with it. So for example, we're going to use a base plate, all right? Now we're going to go ahead and get the base plate here. We're going to do local base plates is equal to 
uh, or no, local base plate is equal to game dot workspace dot base plate. Because remember, it's the hierarchy. Games is everywhere, and then dot workspace and then dot base plate. So um, delete that because it's not a variable anymore. So we will type base plate there. So actually, wait, sorry, let me delete this in general. So we have local base plate is equal to game dot workspace dot base plate. Okay. Now we have we can do this. We can do um, this. All right. We can do if base plate dot anchored is equal to equal to true then print it is anchored yo <laughs> okay so the base plate is anchored as you can see here click on it and the anchored so it's going to print it is true yo or it is anchored yo because that's what i wanted to the print but you can do if it's equal to false and if it's not if it's if it's equal to false then this if statement will not run. Okay, that's how it works. If it's not equal to what it is, then it, this if statement will not run. So it's not going to print it is anchored, yo, because it's not going to run. All right, so that's pretty simple. Like, if you know what I'm saying, like, it's not going to print that because if it's not true, then it just skips over this, basically. So, yeah, that's if statements and, uh, yeah. So, like, but let me show you what I do. Let me show you, like, a cool thing you can do with, like, actual games. So we can do if... The base plate is equal to, um, f or equal to true. Then, whenever it's equal to true, then we can go in here and make it equal to false. So it's a little tricky, but we can make it equal to false. It'll be equal to false. So we'll do make base plate dot anchor is equal to false. And remember, only one equal sign because you're setting it equal to something. And then you can we can wait. Um, oh yeah, this is a wait function, guys. Basically, it's pretty simple. You just type wait and then in parentheses you put how many seconds you want to wait so we'll wait two seconds and then we'll set it back to true so yeah so it's gonna fall out of the sky for a sec <laughs> i'll show you what i mean it's gonna fall out of the sky for a sec and i'm, I'm not gonna actually play the game i'm gonna hit run and basically all run does is it spawn it doesn't spawn you in but it runs the game so i'm gonna hit run and the base plate falls for a second waits two seconds stops because it just got anchored so yeah as that is uh, a little cool thing you can do you make stuff fall out of the sky, and I'm gonna do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, that is um, if statements. There are, are a little more things you need to know about if statements, like um, else statements and else ifs. They're pretty simple though, so don't worry about that until next video. But yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow in the next tutorial. Peace, guys.